Ladies and gentlemen, Caleb Dressel's name is back on a psych sheet. And if you know why it's called a psych sheet, please go down in the comments section and enlighten the swimming community because I'm pretty sure there's a collective one person on the planet that knows why it's called a psych sheet. Are you psyching someone up? Are you psyching someone out? Is psych an acronym? I don't know. Go down there and comment something serious, something funny, maybe a funny definition of psych sheet, and maybe I'll pin my favorite. I will pin my favorite. How about that? It's my channel. I can, I'm the only one that can pin. So I'll pin my favorite comment if you go down there and drop a comment about a psych sheet. Also, if it sounds like I'm talking into a paper bag right now, it's because my sinuses are more swollen than my biceps after a long course 100 breaststroke. I can make that comparison because I just did a long course 100 breaststroke and my biceps were sore for about four days after the fact. But this video isn't about the definition of psych sheet where it came from, its origins. It's not about my biceps and it's not about my sinuses. This video is about the most exciting swimmer on the planet. I know David Popovich is exciting. I know Summer McIntosh is exciting, but the buzz that is going around right now about Caleb Dressel and just what this guy's capable of, short course yards and the long course career that he's already had and the drama around world championships, whatever you want to call it, all of it connects to make Dressel, in my opinion, the most interesting and the most exciting swimmer on the planet and he's back in the sport. Now, normally this would be the part where I tell y'all to go down in the comment section and make predictions on what you think Caleb Dressel is going to go and the events that he's slated to swim at the 2023 Atlantic Classic, which by the way, this meet is stacked. You got Summer McIntosh there, Katie Ledecky there, Bobby Fink. It's, it's loaded. If you look at this psych sheet, which who knows what that means still, the names at this meet, I mean, the fact that we're getting to watch this meet just on a random May weekend is awesome. The sport is in such a good spot with all of the talent that we've got floating around, floating, ha, floating swimming. The talent that we've got floating around is just so exciting and so interesting right now. But instead of going down there and predicting what we think Caleb Dressel is going to go, because I don't think I could get within 25%, but I think for this one, we take a step back. I think we take a step back and go down in the comment section, just welcome Dressel back to the sport, or maybe try to comment what you think a psych sheet is. Head down to the comment section, do one of the two on your way down there, slap a like on the video. Let's try to get this one to 500 to welcome Caleb back to the sport. And let's go through the events that he is swimming at the 2023 Atlanta Classic. Now you might be shocked to see Caleb in the 200 free, the 200 fly and the 200 IM, but if you know Caleb, you know the way he trains and you know the events that he kind of weirdly likes to swim. He actually trains a good amount of mid distance. You know, he's got a ton of top end speed. Obviously he's a 1763 short course 50 freestyler. He's one of the fastest 50 freestylers and 100 freestylers in history. He's the fastest 100 butterflyer in history, but he's got a pretty nasty two free two fly and two IM. He was the, uh, Oh yeah, that's right. The NCAA record holder in the 200 IM short course for a while. He's really good at breaststroke. He was an American record holder in the 100 breaststroke for a little while. This dude's super versatile. While he might not swim, I'm assuming he won't swim all of these events, but I'm ready to be proven wrong because who knows what Dressel V2, Dressel 2.0 is about to fire off of this Atlanta Classic. I do not know, that's for sure. And that's what kind of makes this so exciting. It's, it, this is fun. He's got a full slate of events. Caleb Dressel is back in the sport. And I'm going to wrap it up pretty much right here. If you're not planning on watching this meet, if you're not setting your meet mobile notifications to go off every time this dude swims, then I don't know what you want out of this sport. This Atlanta Classic in May being as exciting as it is, is just a testament to how great of a position this sport is in right now and i can't wait to watch it bottom line point blake period i need to go blow my nose <laughs> i'm super sick right now but i fired this video off just because so thanks for watching caleb dressel is potentially back once he hits the water i'll say he's back it's great for the sport i'd rather have caleb in the sport going 56 and 100 freestyle than have caleb dressel not in the sport it's just a lot of fun good to have him back really exciting hit that like button i'll see you in the next one see ya